Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new background. Actually, this might be worse than the previous one. We used to be on that side of the door and now I decided to change it up. We're on this side now and you can see like my camera arm thing and my lamp. So I don't know if this is a good angle. Anyways, so today I'm doing a review video, something I haven't actually done on my channel before. I'm reviewing the Faber-Castell 9000 graphite pencils. I know this isn't the most aesthetic way to present the pencils. I actually don't have the tin anymore because when I moved I actually had to get rid of a lot of stuff and I usually like to keep my pencils in a pouch so I got rid of some of my tins. But just in case you're not familiar with the packaging for Faber-Castell, I also have this tin. It's very similar. They're all very similar. Actually, I'll go ahead and insert an actual picture of the 9000 set tin just so you guys can actually see it since I don't have it. So before we jump into the review, let me kind of break it down and outline it really quickly. So I'm going to start by showing you the actual pencils themselves and talking a little bit about just like the physical characteristics. I'm just going to do that really quickly. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a value scale and show you all of the different grades. And then finally, I'm going to do a little demonstration for you guys. I'm going to draw a picture of my cat as a cute little demo and kind of just talk about how the pencils actually go down and what it's like to actually use them. Hopefully this review will be helpful for you and I'm going to go ahead and just get into it so I can stop rambling in the intro. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the pencils themselves. The range is from 2H all the way to 8B. It's a 12 set. Um, by the way, I do know that they're not all sharp and some of them are shorter than others and that's because this isn't a new set, so I'm sorry if that ruins the whole aesthetic here, but I tried to line them up and make them look as nice as possible. These are very reflective. It might be a little bit hard to see the markings on camera here for the grades, but we've got 2H, H, then we have F, which is slightly harder than an HB pencil, so that's kind of another inclusion. I would include that as an H pencil. And then we have HB, so those are the four harder grade pencils that the set comes with. And then we have B and 2B, those are the pencils that I use the most often. Um, we also have 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, and the softest, darkest value is the 8B pencil. Now, I don't want to do the whole review while just staring at the pencils, of course, but I would like to talk a little bit about the actual physical pencil and the casing before we begin with that. One of the first things I noticed when I bought these pencils and held them for the first time is that they're very, very light in your hand. I'm not sure why that is. It almost feels like there's nothing inside the casing, which of course isn't true, but they're very, very light in your hand. So I have both the 2H and the 8B here just to show you that the casing is exactly the same for each and every pencil. The only difference is that they have the marking of what grade the pencil is at the very end of the pencil but there isn't any color coding or any kind of difference between the pencils. Now it might be hard to tell, but the barrel of the pencil is like a hexagon shape, so it kind of keeps the pencil from easily rolling away. That's it for the physical characteristics of the pencils, I just wanted to go over that really quickly. And now let's go ahead and jump into doing a value scale. Look how much effort I put into creating this value scale, guys. But I'm starting with the 2H, which is the hardest grade in the entire set. And I don't often use the H grade pencils, so maybe I could do with a 6 set, I have the 12 set, I could do with a smaller set perhaps. But um, for me, I don't really have very much use for the H pencils. But you could start to see that as I get to the 2B pencil, there's more of a drastic difference in how soft and dark the pencils are getting. And I mostly use the B grade pencils for shading, of course, in my work. Um, the 8B pencil is quite dark for an 8B pencil, but even though it is, I usually like to use another medium along with graphite to get a super, super dark value, something like charcoal or carbon. In this case, I'm showing you a comparison between 8B and the Kimberly 9XXB pencil, which I commonly use along with graphite in order to get a very, very dark result. All right, I'm gonna leave that up a couple seconds so you guys can see the value scale as well as the comparison. All right, let's actually move on to the demonstration portion of this video now. I am going to be drawing my cat. So I already finished the sketch. It's a very cute picture of my cat. I'm gonna just do this small drawing for the purpose of this video and we can talk about how these pencils work in action. 
I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyes. I love to start with the eyes in a portrait and I'm going to put the value scale at the bottom if you want a little bit of a better idea of which grades I'm using. But FYI, it's going to mostly be the B grade pencils because I don't use the H very often. Now, as I work on the eyes here, I do want to mention that Faber-Castell, of course, reputable brand. I never really have any problems with their products, so you can't really go wrong with Faber-Castell in my opinion. I love all of their products, and these are going to be very high quality pencils. They are a little bit on the pricier side though, so if you are looking to buy your very, very first ever set of graphite pencils, I'm not sure I'd recommend unless you got a smaller set. Maybe the six set would be better for you, but I would say that they are a little bit on the pricier end, but they are very high quality for what you pay for. Now keep in mind those very black areas are the Kimberly 9XXP pencil that I mentioned I was using and not the 8B pencil. But anyways, I'm going to talk a little bit about some characteristics about these pencils, the graphite pencils here. So as far as blendability goes, they're highly blendable. They are easy to layer. I never have an issue with layering. With my graphite pencils, I do like to use tissues or q-tips to kind of, even a blending stump to kind of blend out my earlier layers to get a nice foundation. I don't like to use hard pressure. I do like to avoid that graphite shine, which you can get with any pencils, any graphite pencils. So I do that by kind of building up my layers slowly and not using a very hard hand when I'm shading. I'd also like to talk about how the lead of the pencil feels. So the graphite of the pencil is a little bit on the harder side but it is not scratchy it is not uneven it feels very smooth it feels very buttery and because it's a little bit on the harder side similar to the faber castell polychromos colored pencils if you've ever used those that's what i'm talking about when i say that these are a bit on the harder side um, they sharpen and keep their point for a long time and i don't have any issues getting details with these pencils so aside from maybe the very softest pencils in the set, most of them, it's very easy to get details with, and that's a very positive trait for me. I don't like to have to sharpen my pencils super often, so I really like the buildup of these pencils. So what is the difference between the Faber-Castell 9000 and other graphite sets by other brands? Well, first of all, um, the price point is a little bit higher. The quality in turn, in my opinion, is higher as well. You don't have those scratching or breakage issues that I've mentioned before. You don't have to sharpen very often. It's kind of a very high quality set for what you pay for. Another thing though that might not be as much of a positive, and I'm not complaining about it or anything, but I would say that I've heard other artists say that some graphite sets have even darker values in the B range, even darker and softer values. So maybe this is not the darkest, darkest B values you can get in a graphite set. I have yet to try a graphite set that has a darker value than this set does, so if anyone wants to recommend any other graphite set for me to review, for me to buy and then try it out, or compare to this set, then I would be more than happy to do so, try another set. Um, there was one that I was kind of looking at, but just mention any that you might want me to try. And what is the difference between the Faber-Castell 9000 and a Faber-Castell like sketch set or another set of graphite pencils by Faber-Castell? Well, for me, I think that maybe the sketching sets are more for like line work or design work even, where you need more harder H pencils and less like blendable pencils for shading. So I am thinking that the sketch set might be more intended for someone who is going to be doing more line work rather than someone who is going to be doing something like what I'm doing in this demonstration, shading my cat here, where I would need a lot of B value pencils. So you also have to kind of um, figure out what your needs are, what work you want to be doing with a set before you go out and buy one because this set might be kind of useless to you if you're going to be doing a lot of line work and not a lot of shading. You wouldn't have much of a use for those dark B value pencils. Now, another point I haven't mentioned before yet is that um, when you go in with an eraser, if you want to pull out highlights, like I've pulled out some highlights with a stick eraser for the fur, for the lighter fur, as you can see. So if you're going to go in and do that, these pencils do lift off fairly easily as long as you're not using very hard pressure. So in maybe some of the darker areas, it might be harder. But if you are looking to um, use your eraser to create some highlights, then these pencils are fairly easy to erase as long as you have been using more of a light hand. 
For the nose, I actually did use a couple of the H range pencils, I believe, to get some of that detail in. And that was another positive I mentioned about this set is while you can get those nice blended areas that are soft and smooth, you can also get very highly detailed areas without too much of an issue. So I really, really like that about these pencils, that they stay very sharp and that you can get a lot of details in. Even with the B grade pencils, guys, it's not just the H grade pencils. The B grade pencils are also, um, you know, prone to staying pretty sharp and I never have an issue with adding in fine details. So to really sum things up, I think this is a great set for blending, for detail work, for layering, um, for basically anything having to do with drawing and shading. If, again, you're looking to do more line work, then I'd recommend a set that includes more H values, to be completely honest, because this one has more B values than H values, and some graphite sets go higher, like up to a 5H or something like that. So if you're looking for more H pencils on the H side, then I'm not sure I'd recommend this set, but it does have 4H pencils that are fairly hard. So it might be okay for you if you are going to have a use for the B-value pencils as well. As an artist who likes to do realistic work and shading and things like that, this is a dream set for me because it has great B-value pencils that are also great at detail work. So I don't have any issues with blending, layering, or anything like that with these pencils. I just love these pencils. That's why I've been using them exclusively for the past few years with my um, graphite work. Now, even though I love this set, anytime I use graphite, I always kind of do a mixed media thing because I just don't think that graphite gets dark enough for my liking. So that's why I'm using that Kimberly 9XXB pencil. It's not because of this set in particular not being dark enough, but just that I don't like to use graphite on its own anymore. I did before in my earlier years as practicing with graphite and being an artist, I kind of realized how much I love more high contrast work and that's why I kind of started adding charcoal or carbon to my work if you're wondering. A lot of artists also do the same thing as well and I would recommend that Kimberly 9XXB pencil if you don't want to get a whole charcoal set and you just want one extra dark pencil to kind of go with and complement your graphite set and still allow you to get those very black areas. Well, I'm finishing up, I'm wrapping up this drawing now. That's pretty much all I have for the review for you guys. I've mentioned kind of every point I wanted to talk about with these pencils. And I'm curious whether you guys have tried these pencils or not, or if you're thinking about purchasing them, or if you prefer another graphite set or there's another one that you stand by and you love, I'd love to know what it is. Maybe I could even do a review or a comparison of another graphite set. I haven't bought another graphite set in so long that that would be fun for me. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this set or another set that you might like to use. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. You can now watch me struggle to work on the whiskers because I didn't pre-plan ahead of time and created some of those really dark areas with that Kimberly pencil that are very hard to lift up. So I hope you're enjoying watching me struggle with this. And I really hope that this review was interesting or helpful for you guys. I really enjoyed making this review video for you guys. It's my first review video, as I mentioned before. So this was really fun for me to make. Let me know if you like this type of video, if you want me to review something else in the future, a different art supply or paper or whatever. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked the little cat drawing demonstration as well, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!